Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Prediction time, fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place in the new year. Uh, so happy new year guys when it comes. It takes place on 2nd of January. It is for the WBC Interim Lightweight World Title. And it is between Ryan Garcia, who is 20 and 0. And he takes on Cool Hand Luke Campbell, who is 20 and 3. Guys, going to say this now before I get into the video. I would say that this is the hardest prediction video I have ever done. Um, I can see massive cases for both guys to win this fight. And I have spent hours today. I spent an hour yesterday sitting, looking over this fight, trying to shred it down as much as I can to give you guys an intake. I feel I have now made my mind up, but am I confident 100%? No, it is such a good fight. Guys, let's get into it. Let's start off with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is, well, he's, he's like the new kid on the block, isn't he? Um, he's 20 and 0. He's done everything that's been asked of him so far. One of the fights that I had a look at when I was trying to, to make my mind up about this fight today was the encounter with um, Carlos Varales, where Ryan Garcia won a, a split decision. I tried to help look at things from that, but Ryan Garcia was a kid when he took that fight. It was over two years ago. He has since then had... Three fights, they've all ended inside two rounds. Um, he knocked out Fonseca with a beautiful left hook in his last fight. Before that, he had the exciting knockout over Duno. And then before that, I think he didn't have a fight that ended inside two rounds. It's a little bit alarming that he's had four rounds in two years. But guys, if you can beat these guys and you can beat them early, that's all you can do. Um, so really good fight of Ryan Garcia, a lot to learn, an awful lot to learn, um, but you can see why there is a lot of people excited about him. And then you've got probably one of the most established fighters ever from the UK. If this guy doesn't win a world title, it is an absolute travesty. Guys, I'm on about Luke Campbell. Yeah, Luke Campbell, fantastic fighter. He's had to do things the hard way in his career. His last fight, he probably fought one of the best versions of Lomachenko that there was. Um, the fight went the distance. I think he was pretty much out box look, but he was always in the fight. It was only towards the end of the fight that it got quite badly one-sided, but you could tell with that amateur pedigree and things that he had, he knew exactly what he was doing and he was the right guy to be there. Lomachenko was banging everyone out before that, Anthony Crawler, etc., and Luke Campbell took him the distance and made it competitive at times, so you have to take your hat off to him for that. Before that, we've got, I think it was a fifth round um, stoppage win in America against Adrian Young. That was a little while ago now. Before that, we had the revenge win over Ivan Mendy. Um, but the fight that I really, really wanted to look at um, for Luke Campbell, I think it's strange because there's two fights that I've picked out for both fighters. Carlos Morales, although he's an orthodox fighter, just to see the type of pressure he put um, Ryan Garcia under. But the one that I think this fight could go a lot like is Luke Campbell versus Jorge Linares. What a fight that was. I'm back and watched that today. You know, sometimes when I study for these videos, I think, oh, right, oh, that fight wasn't that great. But I'll go back and watch it and see what I can what I can dig out from it. But Linares and Campbell is a stunning fight. Such a good fight. Um, a fight of two halves almost. Um, we know Luke is a, a really slow starter in fights. He went down early in that fight. He got up, fought his heart out. And Linares won a really razor tight thin um, decision. But it really could have went either way. If you guys look at that fight stylistically, I think that could be a lot of how Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell can go. Because Linares was very quick. Good combination puncher quite quick with his feet as well. These are all things that Ryan Garcia possesses. So it's very, very difficult um, to, to go in and have a look and see what way this fight's going to go because you can make massive, massive cases for both. Guys, very quickly on to keys to victory. I'm just conscious of how long I've been talking to you guys for. We've not even got there yet. Um, keys to victory for me, for Ryan Garcia, I think you need to make Luke Campbell work. Don't go gung-ho with your, your punches, these Instagram, boom, 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 100 left hooks. Not going to work with Luke Campbell, you'll get caught. He needs to jab Luke Campbell and then come round with a left hook, throw right hands to the body, etc. See how easy it is for Luke Campbell to make the weight. He's a big, tall guy for a lightweight. Come with a right hand down to the body. 
keep your jab going and counter with the left hook, but be sparing with the left hook because I watched a video today of Luke Campbell training and it's almost as though they're training for that. Seeing Shane McGuigan put the pad out, Luke Campbell's rolling under, coming up with the right hook. Need to keep an eye on that. Very, very important. Keys to victory for Luke Campbell. If I'm Luke Campbell, I'm coming forward with my, le my legs wide open and throwing a hard south paw jab, but don't, don't leave yourself in there when you've thrown it. Once he's through it, Lean your body forward, boom, right back out. Make sure it lands right back out. Don't give Ryan Garcia target practice because he's got extremely quick hands. Even I was shocked when I went back and seen how quick his hands were today. I didn't realise he was that quick. So, yeah, but that's my keys to victory for Luke Campbell. South paw jab, maybe come down my left hand to the body, but be very, very wary of the counter shot when he's doing that. Over and on at prediction time, guys. Changed my mind about two, maybe three times on this fight today. I see so many cases for Oak Campbell winning this fight. So many cases. Um, he's probably got the superior boxing ability. The superior boxing brain. But he has had a few hard fights. Ryan Garcia has only had four rounds in two years. Yeah, he's been, he's been knocking, knocking kids out. He's never fought anyone anywhere near as good as Luke Campbell. But I'm a big believer in that every new star has to have a coming out party. And I just fear that this might be, well, fear. It's probably not a good word because I'm impartial in these videos, but I just think that this may be Ryan Garcia's coming out party. I just think that he may be getting Luke Campbell at the right time. Luke Campbell's 32, 33 now. Ryan Garcia, I've seen him, he looks as though he's bulked up a little bit. He looks more manly as the years go on. And I just think that it could be a really, really close fight for a while. Um, and maybe I see Ryan Garcia stopping Luke Campbell in the second half of the fight, or winning a relatively wide points decision. I just think that if he shows Luke Campbell the respect he deserves and fires off quick combinations and backs off, I think it's going to be very hard for Luke Campbell at 32, 33 years old to beat a young, hungry Ryan Garcia. But guys, can I stress so much that for me, Luke Campbell is the superior fighter in terms of skill, brain, knowledge. Timing is just everything in boxing. Age, weight, how many fights you've had, etc. And this fight just rings out as being a Ryan Garcia win for me. So guys, my prediction, Ryan Garcia to win inside the second half of the fight or to win a relatively wide points decision. Guys, Greg Doyle, 8 Sleep Boxing Repeat. I'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. Subscribe down below. Check out all of our social platforms. Thank you. Take care.